Hello people. Today I am going to see the perspective of Mark Noble. I would assume that a lot of people would want to use him because he is a West Ham legend. But he might not be the most usable player. First off, I think I would do is put an anchor to boost pace, defending, and physical. I feel like for a midfielder, those stats are very necessary. Okay now, I am going to find out where he plays or played at West Ham. After a lot of research. I finally found a game where Noble started and played well. It seems we will be passing the 4-4-2 like last time. Noble goes in the right CM spot. Now let's see some clips to decide his tactics. So it seems that he roams freely around the top of the box from what I've seen, so I will put stay on the top of the box, and free roam, we will cover the wing because in some other clips I've seen, he usually wins the ball back from the wing. He will be balanced attack so that he can still come up but he will also be there to defend. Ok, let's go. I think I am forcing it to him a bit much. He has a nice drive with the ball, but he is also silky with it. His volleys inside the box are insane.
His long passes are very trustworthy. You shouldn't be scared to play the long ball with him. He is really good at maneuvering himself out of sticky situations. To finish up this review. His passing is insane, I would give it a 10 out of 10. All of his passes were superb. His dribbling was great, he could drive it forward, and he could close control it out of situations, I would give his dribbling 8 out of 10. His defending did the job, it wasn't the best, but he could stick out a leg when he needed to. You give it a 6 out of 10. 
His physical helped boss the midfield, so he'll give it 7 out of 10. No boss shooting wasn't amazing. His volleys were great, but besides that, it was kind of average. He'll give it a 6 out of 10. So in all, he is a very well-rounded player that could do nearly everything you need him to do. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.